Hey, have you ever tried to bake bread in a crock pot? I saw that on TikTok and y'all guess what? I'm gonna try it. So if you wanna see how my bread turns out, you better stick with me because we're gonna be testing and trying this out together. All right? All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, here are the ingredients and I'm looking down at my notes. So three cups of all purpose flour, two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, one teaspoon of salt, one, no, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and that's what's in these little containers, and one cup of warm water. Now, because I wanna make mine an Italian loaf, my hands are dry, random. Because I wanna make mine an Italian loaf, I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning and some three cheese Italian seasoning. I mean, some three cheese Italian blend. And what's in here is Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano. Let's get started. All right, step one says, in a bowl, add your warm water, your yeast, and the sugar and stir it until it dissolves. Let me get a cup and stir it. I don't know if I have to let this rise or not, and I probably should have used a, um, what you call it? A whisk is what I probably should have used. And I'm supposed to keep stirring. I know y'all can't see my face, but I'm stirring. You're supposed to keep stirring until the yeast and the sugar dissolve. I hope this turned out right. It's interesting to make bread without a bread machine. All I have left is a little bit of yeast that hasn't dissolved yet. And it looks like that's dissolving now. Okay, so here's my yeast, sugar, and water mixture. Okay, next it says to add salt and vegetable oil and stir well. So that's the salt, and that's the vegetable oil. Stir well. Okay, looks like everything is well incorporated. So now we're supposed to gradually add in the flour. Gradually adding in flour and stirring it until a soft dough begins to form. So I'm gonna stir it in slowly. And it doesn't say whisk, so I'm not gonna switch over to a whisk. I'm just gonna keep using this spoon. Although I think a whisk would be better. Actually, I'm gonna switch over to this. But I'm gonna use a silicone whisk instead of adding metal to it. Smells like dough. It smells like that bread smell. Like, you know, when you open up a can of biscuits, Now it's gonna, now is when I should probably switch back to my spoon because I'm getting a doughy, doughy texture. Yeah, let's switch over to the spoon.
And I could probably mix this with my hands. I'll go ahead and put the rest in because it's so thick that it's hard for me to incorporate it with the wet dough. Now, it doesn't look like I added any more water, but we're going to see how this turns out. Okay, so I got my parchment paper. I'm going to put it in my crock pot, which is over there. And it says to cook on high for four hours or low if you don't need it for like seven to eight hours. So I'm gonna cook it on low because I'm not in a hurry. And what I need to do is add a little bit more flour, but we do have a ball forming. So I'm gonna add the flour to the surface, knead it for like five minutes. <clears throat> add my oregano, I mean my Italian seasoning and the cheese, and then I'm gonna put it in a crock pot and let it do what it has to do. Okay, so paper is in the crock pot. We're just gonna sit that right there. Now let's sprinkle a little bit of flour onto our surface. Fingers crossed. flour on the surface. Let's knead it. I need to drop the camera probably so y'all can see. Let me pause. Actually, I think it's good. Yeah, y'all can see. Okay. All right, we're kneading it. We making bread, y'all. I'm so glad we got these counters changed a couple years ago because the counters that we used to have in here, they were not conducive to baking because they were like um, subway tile. Um, that's what the previous owners had. So we had the counters changed to this granite slate and um, it's much better to work with. Oh shoot, look who's making bread, me and you. Me and you, a snap of pie, my kids. Me and my sister sing that all the time because we love color purple. I know it's a depressing movie for some people, but we love it. <laughs> okay, so looks like we have a nice ball. I don't form it into an oblong shape. But it's neat. I've kneaded it very well. Now, I'm going to add in some Italian seasoning. I want it to be real Italian. Over it though, because I don't want to mess it up. Especially since I've never done this before. To run to some separation at the bottom. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get out air bubbles. And I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay. some of our three cheese blend. That's my favorite three cheese blend. I'm actually just gonna lay the cheese on top. So when the bread starts to bake, it'll just you know, do its little thing. I 
and this looks about like how big the bone was that the people did. So. Okay. Losing cheese. No cheese left behind. All right, so there's our bread or our dough in the crock pot. Now let's go turn it on. Okay, I have it on low for eight hours and the bread is in there or the dough is in there. Okay, I don't want to take the top off, but I did want to let y'all see what it's looking like so far. I'm trying to get the whole view of it. I could smell it upstairs, so I was like, oh, let me go downstairs and see. But this is what it's looking like, y'all. I am so excited. Now let's just hope it is crusty on the outside, but like soft and pillowy on the inside. Okay, so we still have an hour and about 46 minutes, but let's, I'm, I wanna take the top off just to see. I, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. And let's just, okay, okay. It's got a nice little sound to it. The cheese is all melted on top. You can see the Italian seasoning. Oh, look at that. I think we're gonna be in good company. And I fixed Italian bread and I made spaghetti to go with it. So that's the sauce and the noodles. We don't like combine the two in our house. We like to keep them separate. I can't wait to take this out so I can like slice it and put some butter on it. And I'm gonna let y'all see all of that. So. Stay tuned! Oh my god, this is so... Tastes like bread. Um, the bottom, it cooked a little bit too much for me. It's not like... It's like crunchy on the bottom, which I don't like that. The inside is soft. The outer part, I probably should have just cooked it for six hours instead of seven. But the inside is good. This, no bueno. Woo, it is hot. Yeah. I I can see the steam coming from it still, but I keep dropping from. It tastes good. It was an experience. It was fun, just the anticipation. Let me put a little butter on it. Hold on. Little, put a little bit of butter on it. Got a little butter. Mm -hmm. But cheers with the bread. Thank y'all for experimenting with me. Lessons learned. What to do the next time because I am going to make this again. And um, I hope y'all learned something too. All right, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.